Okay, SDM 630. This is the result and we want to go from uh, the beginning, how it works and how, what to do. First is to install um, the SDM 630 in your um, house environment so that you um, get it to work. And then I use the gateway to uh, connect it via Modbus TCP also. And yeah, there it is. Then we can read it with the node red contract Modbus. And I use the second output because uh, because when you see here, the first output is just to um, get the uint values from protocol communication directly. So if you had to decide by your own what to read and how to uh, is the register organized and um, how to work with uh, with the buffer, then you can decide it here. And uh, this is the message payload buffer is directly the buffer from uh, reading all registers. Okay, and uh, with that we can read it um, like every other buffer. So there are functions and documentation what you can do with. And uh, for here we're reading uh, two registers. It's uh, starting on uh, zero in the buffer. And two registers means uh, you have to read four in the buffer. Uh, and four registers are eight later in the buffer to read. Yeah, then we get a values, um, build an information model about it to work uh, human readable later in the flow. And we see here, when I open up, I uh, can give it a name of the topic to uh, provide it in a chart of the dashboard um, package. And um, the second point is that uh, SDM 630 only reads 50 registers per read. So um, it, you didn't get any error when you read more, but uh, the values are wrong. So uh, I had to um, dis um, divide it in uh, three reads because I want to read uh, more values than 50. And yeah, there it is. And we have to start here also with zero again oh, because this is a buffer and not register uh, matching. So, and in the registers, we are starting with uh, 48 reading eight registers to get uh, these values here power sum and demand sum okay and uh, other ways the same to uh, give it in a name for the chart we do this here again okay and also we have some uh, static values like frequency amp hour and this stuff um, so amp hour last uh, since the last restart or reset and uh, yeah you have to do this here again as in the other nodes. Okay, that's it. And uh, the result is coming from dashboard here. You can go to the UI with this tiny button. Click. And then we should see how it works. I see some peaks here and uh, I um, recording data for one day and I'm very excited how it looks and uh, it's very easy to do this and uh, yeah so try it out take the flow from uh, the flow library of node red also read uh, the buffer documentation and uh, yeah have fun